That's right. This one, uh, this one doesn't really tell you to lead the Animus at all. You, you can just continue playing the story if you want. Unless it's, there's like a mission mission you gotta do with Desmond. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Aunt Charles, why do you have so much grease on your face? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock. Oh, wrong one. Is it, not? it is. Charles Lee. To show us what he looks like after a while instead of what he is. Okay, thanks. Cool. That's your... Oh, dude, that's a sick one. Yeah. R.I.P. I miss you. I miss you too, but not as much as Ezio. You're the one that started everything out that year. I will admit that. But this day, Ezio is still the person that like made it. That that cannot be argued. If Ezio's story never came out, the Assassin's Creed would never like been as good. I figured I might. Well, at least until he arrives. I thought. Yes. Out with it. Forgive me, sir. I had. I had hoped that I might study Hello, under you. Sir. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say. Bloody but hell. I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! Nobody went for him? Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. This is something I'm going to try doing as well. Uh, I'm going to try working with the trade shit a little bit more in this game. Because um, I, I remember I did always like fully upgrade uh, the homestead. But I never like did anything with their trading. And I feel like I need to do that so that I can get some money and get some shit. Because I'll admit, in this game, I literally just used the fucking hatchet and that was it. Like, I never upgraded my stuff or anything. So, this is something I'm actually going to attempt to do a little bit more. Damn, Spriggs. This it's city Benjamin city. Franklin! Kill him. What? You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. How so? What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but you seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. So what do you get for doing that? That was interesting. What do you get for do do I have my phone? I was gonna like Google it. I don't have I was gonna say, kid, are you grabbing my ass? I was like, what the fuck? I was confused there. I was like, kid. Ha I know it's like early times, but pedos, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna be the first one in history. <laughs> What's up, my guy? Both. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I hate this, like, HUD. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but God, I fucking hate it. It feels obnoxious. Actually, you know what? I should be wearing my fuck. Oh. Yeah, that's what it is. My eyes feel like they're hurting right now. Hold on, give me a sec. Hi! Right, here we are. We're back. Yes. 
Apollo leads the Green Dragon. Oh, I bet. To all weavers, the esteemed craftsman Peter Quitzel has... We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. I will say this, though. Uh, this change in subject from... Like, my trigger fine? My trigger felt weird there for a second. Um... Yeah, another cool thing about these glasses is that I don't know, man. Like even right now, now I like I don't feel strained. I don't feel tired at all. I feel completely fine. That's how I felt even during the uh, raid that I did yesterday. Um, I didn't feel tired. I didn't feel exhausted. I just felt fine. Here, well, it says I can lead the animus, right? Ubisoft Club. They said I had emails. I want to check out the emails because I never checked them out in this one. Okay, that's weird. Yes. Sorry, Desmond. Little busy right now. No, not not later. you. This thing. There it is. Receive message. <gasps> you can replay the mess of the missions on here, dude. Fuck yeah. All right. Okay, so Rebecca. Anyway, out of time. Yeah, lion. Cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. This way. That was awkward. Why did why did you go up the stairs like that? That was so fucking weird. Like yeah 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 yeah. I don't know. I looked weird. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Let's let's look at Mister. Uh, they're really not hiding it. Okay. Uh. Why is there was nothing for William? Oh wait, there's a talk thing. I want to hear the talk. I want to hear it. Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities, so I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but as I said, not the swiftest. So I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill, 
humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed. And it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they have their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. I can continue talking to you? Or is it like a replay? Should not be much longer. I'll let you know as soon as I have something. I hope you're right, Haytham. Right. Hi, Thomas. Why are you walking? Just run. Well, because I'm trying to match the integrity of, of the scene. Nah, I'm just doing it because I'm bored. <laughs> Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. Sure. Don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout. Take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half or four before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. No, God damn it. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. On with the show, then. God, that fucking sucks. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. How'd you miss? Lay down your weapons. And I'll consider letting you live. 
I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. I think I Your failed. kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. A shame so many had to die. Aye. Terrible tragedy, that. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Alright, he's gotta kill four. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rebel. Stop them, Thomas! <laughs> Look at those badges! Wait, them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Ah, why is you always got to go and spoil the sport? God damn it! Though they did make changes, they're not good ones. Oh. <laughs> Look at those badges running around all up the shop. With knives, they ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. All right, so I kill ten people. What are my objectives? It's to more than half their health. Okay. The oh, fuck's happening to their wagon? Come on.
that guy's a bugging out bad. Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. That's the first time I actually, like, did the shooting shit. It's fun. There you are. Not really, because I hate the loading my and shit, thanks, but... Master Kenway. Fun. I guess. No. Tell me what it is you'll need. Bitches. The images on Good the sound, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanye and Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. And Thomas! Whoa. Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Yeah, up to you. Any news? Whispers of things. Nothing solid at the moment. I know you're looking for word of anything out of the ordinary. Dealing with temples and spirits and ancient times and whatnot. But so far, can't say my boys have heard much. No trinkets or artifacts being moved through your shadow market? Nothing new. A couple of ill-gotten weapons, right. some jewelry likely lifted from a living thing. But you said to listen for talk of glows and ums and strange sights, right? And I ain't heard nothing about that. Keep at it. Oh, I will. You done me a great service, mister. And I fully intend to repay my debt, thricefold if it pleases. Thank you, Thomas. Place to sleep and meal to eat is thanks enough. Don't you worry. I'll get you sorted soon. Actually, that's surprising because I always remember just remembering him as a little shit. Yeah, I give him props. He's pretty fucking loyal. All right. I think this will be the last mission. I'm calling it today for myself. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Hey, man. It's like me. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. <laughs> How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> oh. I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwill. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. I'll say this, Charles. Um, gonna let you know. You look great right now, but later down the road, you look like shit. Oh, actually, wait, I get to talk to Charles. Uh, let's talk to Charles. Because honestly, I would like to probably know a little bit more about him. Because I didn't do this stuff, by the way. All the way back then. Let's talk, Charles. Do you like it here, Charles? There's a certain charm to Boston, I suppose. To all of the colonies, really. Granted, their cities have none of London's sophistication or splendor, but the people are earnest and hardworking. They've a pioneer spirit I find compelling. It's quite something, really, watching a place that's finally found its feet. Has it, then? That was the hickory guy. No, the just... French still wage war from Excuse up me. north. And I fear the Spanish have designs upon this place as well. Is this a new world? Or just another battlefield? Ah, that's a story old as time itself. And one that's not like to change. We're cruel and desperate creatures, set in our conquering ways. The Saxons and the Franks. The Ottomans and Safavids. I could go on for hours. The whole of human history is but a series of conflicts and subjugations. 
a desire for more and more and more. I pray one day we rise above it. Whilst you pray, I'll act. We'll see who finds success first, hmm? It was an expression. Aye, and a dangerous one. Words have power. Wield them wisely. He got pissed for no fucking reason, Aethem. What the fuck? Tell me a shit. I always... I do remember this, though. I did always hate using guns in this time period because just the whole, like, reload factor. I'm, having them preloaded and stuff is fine, but having to reload them in the middle of battle, that shit sucks. I think that's why people like Edward, because he can fire four if you're able to do the holster stuff. Wonderful. Charles? Sir? <laughs> I had that whole fucking exchange like, what Seems the like fuck, guy? The what about it? it? We're in. Fuck it. What do we do? <laughs> I love that exchange. Come. I'll show you how. Of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. There it is. When the SS fills with yellow, it means the. Uh, oh, it's telling me how to eavesdrop. Gotcha. Well, let me fucking move then. God damn it. Are you indeed of a first scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon? Likely, if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Personally, I think what they should have done, I just thought of it right now, just thinking about, like, the style and how everything changed. Because I was thinking, see, a time period I would like to explore, and I know it would be a very iffy one to do, because technically we would have to be pretty fucking evil to do it. Um, and that's World War II, because technically the Assassin Order would be the ones that started that whole thing. But at the same time, it... Yeah, it's really about his work. The area's definitely suffered a decline in character. Indeed. All manner of Arifs and natty lads now walk the streets. Why, just earlier today I had a run-in with some. Do tell. It was down by the church. A group of men comes rushing through when one of them suddenly falls to the ground, all torn up. I thought about going to see if he needed help, but a look from one of them changed my mind. Probably for the best. Those aren't the sort of people you want to get mixed up with. He's drop on a moving group of guards. Um, what was I gonna tell y'all? Oh, um, pretty much World War II would have been a little bit cooler to explore, but I see why they didn't do it. If anything, what I feel like they could have done is a uh, rogue. Assassin's Creed Rogue should have been in a uh, World War II times because then that would have really shown like shit. Maybe the Assassin's Creed Order is doing a little too much for the order. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like that would have been a little cooler. I need to get behind them. Oh, wait. No, I think I could just stay in... No. Right? 
Can I? No, yeah, I can't see it. But one way or another, the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. These green times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> good call, that. Alright, now I just gotta find one more and that should be it. I love how I don't need to do the objective stuff, but I'm still trying to do the objective stuff. I don't know, man, I just want to. I asked if I could help, and they waved me away. Insisted it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though, so I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Y'all guys aren't even talking to each other. <laughs> They're trying not to be, uh, remain undetected. Okay. That, that may be a little difficult. Because here's the thing that are See, Charles, gone now. We'll have the church in no time. Just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing. Well, I didn't mean to stop the end fucking talk there, but ah, oh, god damn it, I hate this game sometimes. I know this would be the challenge right here. Yeah, he can't do the. He can't climb on trees. I remember that. Hatham can't do the tree or the tree climbing because uh, yeah. I believe this is the house we gotta get into. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh fuck. I did the whistle. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, because I forgot. Whistling's a little too fucking overpowered in this game, because for some reason. Uh, a little difficult, is it not? <laughs> God damn. Okay, I might have to just climb up. Because I'm thinking ground level, it's too goddamn difficult. Where if I climb up, I don't think I have to worry about it that much. But then again, there might be snipers. It's just hard to tell. Okay, it looks like we might be fine. Okay, we're fine. Locked. Hmm. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. Fuck me. I knew it was going to be difficult. It was literally the only issue I had there. Here's the closest one. All right. Here we are then. Because all the other ones would have been too damn difficult. Luckily, those guys were uh, well, not that bad. I might be a little over time Why here. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Yeah. Clearly, you do require protection. Else, we wouldn't be here. Well, shit. How very good. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. <laughs> 
Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <gasps> How did? Lucky pass out. Though I dare say I'll do my best to ensure that doesn't happen. Just a quick little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared more of your name prattle. A little bit from here. Hello. How you doing? Who? Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Alright, and I believe this is going to be another story mission, but that might just be it. Let's say fuck it and we just do one more. Ah, oh, y'all really want to do this with me. Let's go. What happened? <laughs> I always remember those fuckers just always coming in, just kicking my ass. I'm like, nah, nah, dude, not not fucking today. Uh, -uh. No, don't don't you don't you don't do that shit to me. All right, let's go. We're doing one last mission. Fuck it. That, that got my got my shit pumping. <laughs> dude, I fucked them up. Holy shit. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Ooh, Thatcher. Ooh, they put texture on your that nose. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, oh. more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. All right. Because might as well have the full group and then we just bum rush. Speak your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Brad. When I'm not attending to you, of course. There's Mr. Pitcan, the most forgettable one out of them all. Yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I don't remember shit about Pitkin. Like, I, I legit do not. You fool. Your acts are treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Braddock? Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Haytham, 
General Braddock. Awesome. Sorry. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. I suppose I'm often sorry. travel in packs. Master Pit Why you keep will be like in a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. The devil's work, right no doubt. Bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they've said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, <laughs> listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. That bayonet looks fucking rusty, dude. Clean your shit. Dude, you gotta take care of your firearm. Well, didn't go as I expected. I just think I used to call him brother. What now? But they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. No, I'm a little bit more silent in this one. Is for some reason with this one, it feels way more like a cinematic movie than it does uh, anything else. The fuck, Charles? Charles, that little shit. I'm gonna kick his ass later. Now I can't wait to finish the game so I can fucking kill you. God damn it! Oh, go! Get him! What the fuck are you doing? Dumbass. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! Man, that guy's bu- He's- <laughs> You're all bugging the fuck out. This is worse than fucking other- Unhands other one. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. No, 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 god damn it. There it is. Alright. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Alright, that's it. We're done. I'm gonna go read the email real quick, because apparently we got an email. I'm gonna go check that out. I don't know email. What? Lying, you assholes.